everyone, it's me Brittany and this video is going to be about how I passed my national board's dental examination part one and if you're interested in passing your test too, keep on watching this video to find out. So I'm going to break down this video into a couple things. I'll leave the links um, to the timestamps down below if you want to skip around. Well, the test is divided into two parts. The first part, you want to take either your end of your first year of dental school or your second year of dental school. And the second part, you take your um, fourth year of dental school, so your last year. In the near future, they are c combining part one and part two into an integrated national board dental examination. And that is going to be for starting in 2020. Um, and part one is going to be discontinued in 2020 and part two is going to be discontinued in 2022 But if you're watching this video in the future I'm pretty sure the materials that I'm going to talk about is still going to be relevant because at the end of the day teeth is teeth Anatomy is anatomy, you know, these things don't really change too much part one focuses a lot on the basic sciences as well as Tooth morphology, so it's split up into four main categories. The first one is biochemistry slash physiology The second one is anatomy. The third one is is um, microbiology slash pathology and the fourth one is tooth morphology and the way this test works is there are 400 questions split into split up into four different parts so 100 sections each and they are a jumbled um, the questions are all not like the dental admissions test where one was all ochem the other one was all general chemistry these questions in the part one are all scrambled around so that's going to be fun um, for part two, which I'm going to be taking in my fourth year, it's more concentrated on dental related things like radiology, um, all that cool stuff. Next, I'm going to talk about the materials I use. The number one thing that I highly suggest for all of you to take a look at is the dental decks. Now, I don't really like to read textbooks. I know um, some people swear by the um, first aid and be and National Board NBDE Part 1 and they really like that but for me or the board busters um, but I don't really like reading textbooks it's very dry but having the dental decks they are basically flashcards and they ask you a question you answer them and on the back they give you a whole bunch of information on that topic plus a little bit more and what I did was I took those flashcards I did um, those and Instead of just flipping quickly and looking at them, I wrote down every single um, thing. Wait, let me try and find. I have so many notebooks. But here's an example. This is my anatomy notebook that I basically went through all of. Oh, I'll put like views here. I went through all of the questions and I um, used these post-it notes for to quick find. So there's like urinary tract, foramen, respiratory, and writing them down and making my own notes really helped me kind of soak in the information more rather than just mindlessly flipping through flashcards. I didn't finish all of them, but I finished them for anatomy and I thought they were very helpful. The next resource that I want to talk about is the Dental Mastery app, which a lot of my classmates chose to study from. And it is an app that you can download on your phone and it's also available online as well. It is... The thing about the app is that the questions are very, not necessarily basic, but very minimal. Um, the I felt like the questions on the real test were way more specific and detailed um, as compared to the Dental Mastery app, but I thought it was a fun way to like, if you're you know, on the go waiting for your Starbucks drink, you can just whip out your phone and just do a couple um, questions. And I also had a notebook for that and I wrote down um, all the things and color coded them. Um, the next resource that I wanted to talk about helped me so much, which are the past the dental boards YouTube videos. And um, if you haven't heard about them, it is a web uh, a channel on YouTube and they make a lot of videos and about how to pass the dental boards. And one of them specifically that was really helpful is a playlist. I'll link it down below, but a playlist about um, 500 facts about tooth morphology, tooth anatomy, and it helped so much. And the thing that really saved me was the microbiology playlist. So for micro, a lot of my classmates, including myself, kind of like push it off on the side because the test isn't really split 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%. It's oh, heavily focuses on anatomy and tooth morphology, but I'll talk more about that later. But microbiology is something that really wasn't on it. So what I did, literally, all I did was two days before the test, I went through um, the microbiology past the dental boards playlist and I wrote down my notes, saw that and read them, studied them, and they helped so much. The only thing is that they don't have a fungi 
um, playlist and I wish they did because I had a couple of fungi questions that I didn't study for. How long did I study for this? So I took my test in January 23rd, the end of January, and um, I started studying winter break and of course like family, friends, like I was just hanging out with them so it wasn't super intensive but I studied very intensively for one week of winter break and then the week I got back um, was the first week of the quarter so we didn't have much things to study so I studied every day that week and then I would study the weekend Saturday and the next Saturday and so I didn't really study too much for this test but I feel like that one week of intensive studying really helped. Next I'm going to say the three tips that I wish I could have that I want to tell you guys and hopefully you will find them useful but the number one thing is you don't have to try to do quantity. I feel like quality is over quantity. Um, people think that if you do this many flashcards, like you'll retain it. That's not necessarily true. Something that I wish I would have done in the past is that really focus on the things that I knew N instead of just trying to learn new things all the time, especially the week before. What I suggest you would do is you, if you made any notes like this, like I have a whole bunch, thumbnail. Yeah, anyways, if you have a whole bunch of notebooks like this, the week before, please review them or else all these would have gone to waste. Really focus a lot on head and neck anatomy. They are the bread and butter of part one of dental, of the National Board's dental examination. Just really focus on that and tooth morphology slash occlusion and you will be fine. And the third thing that is probably mis like overlooked is that if you have really great notes from before, study them. Like if you have notes from lectures that you had in your first year of dental school, your second year of dental school, they will really help you. they will really help you because sometimes what your teacher talked about is more clear than what is on these review books or review flashcards. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you took your part one test and you want to talk about any study materials or resources that you use and were very helpful, then please comment them down below and hopefully somebody will find them very helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!